Welcome, let's discuss the special right triangle of 30, 60, 90 degrees. What we want to find out is, is there any relationship between the sides of this right triangle? Notice the values of the interior angles. That will be 30 degrees, that will be 90 degrees, and that will be 60 degrees. The shorter side in this triangle will be opposite of the angle with the least value, which is 30 degrees. Let's call the shorter side x. What would happen if we get our triangle and we reflect it over the line AC? If we do, notice the point B is going to be reflected somewhere over here. Let's call that point B prime. Point C is on the line, so it's not going to move. The same goes with point A. Point A is on the line, but it's not going to move. Let's connect this point. Because of the reflection, this angle is going to land in this space. So we know that the value of this angle is 30 degrees. And because of the reflection, we know that this angle is going to land in this place, which is going to have the same value of 60 degrees. Remembering that BC, we decided to call it X, then we can say that the length from B to B prime, it's double that. That would be 2X. On the reflection, BC is congruent to CB prime. In addition to that, notice that the triangle AB B prime, we can classify this triangle as an equilateral triangle. Angle B prime is 60, angle B is 60, but now notice that this angle A is 30 plus 30, which is also 60. And because this is an equilateral triangle, then we can say that the length of BA is also 2x. Let's erase all this and let's concentrate on the given triangle ABC. Let's write down our first relationship. We can say that the hypotenuse of this right triangle, it is two times the length that is opposite of 30 degrees, the shorter side in your triangle. With this new information, notice that now we can write down a relationship for the line segment AC. Don't forget that we have a right triangle. And because of that, we can apply it the Pythagorean theorem. So let's let our A to be X. Let's let our B to be the unknown. And let's let C to be the hypotenuse. So now we'll have X squared plus B squared equals 2x squared. And now we can just concentrate on b. Let's try to solve for b. My first term, that's x squared. And 2x squared, you can think about it as 2 to the second times x to the second, which is 4x squared. So let's isolate b squared. And to do that, let's subtract x squared on both sides or x squared minus 1 of those x squared, that is 3x squares. And to solve for b, let's take the square root on both sides. So b, it is equal to the square root of 3 times x squared, which is the same as saying the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared, but the square will cancel out with the square root. So now we have an expression for b. We can say that b, it is x times the square root of 3. So let's go back to our triangle, and instead of calling it b, let's call it x square root of 3. And now we have found our second relationship. And the second relationship is that the side that is opposite to 60 degrees, it is equivalent to the side opposite of 30 degrees times the square root of 3. So notice that our side of reference will always be the side that is opposite to 30 degrees. That's the one that we decided to call x. To find the hypotenuse, we just double that length. 
and to find the side opposite of 60 degrees, we get the length that is opposite to 30, and then we just multiply by square root 3. Let's take a look at some examples. Given the following triangles, let's find the length for all the sides of those triangles. Let's concentrate on A. The first thing to notice is that we have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And when we have those interior angle measurements, remember that we have developed a relationship. We know that the side that is opposite to 30 degrees has a length of 3. Let's call that value x in our reference. And based on what we have said before, the length of the hypotenuse, it will be twice as large as the side that is opposite to 30 degrees. So the measure of the hypotenuse will be 2 times 3. And the second leg of this right triangle, which we have it here in our reference, notice that its value is square root of 3 times the side that is opposite to 30 degrees, which we have decided to call it x. Then we can conclude that the length of the side that is opposite to 60 degrees, it is square root of 3 times 3. We can just rewrite this as 3 square root of 3. In example B, we have the same type of triangle of 30, 16, 90, so we can still use the same reference as we did before. Let's look at the known. We are given the length of the hypotenuse of this triangle, which in our reference, that will be this side. In our reference triangle on the right, notice that x is the side that is opposite to 30 degrees. But we have also established that the hypotenuse is two times the length of the side that is opposite to 30 degrees. So we can set an equation. We can say that 8 is equal to 2x, where x is the side opposite to 30 degrees. And then we can solve for this by divided by 2. Now we can conclude that x has a value of 4, where x is the side that is opposite to 30 degrees. So we have found the length of this side. And now that we have the length that is opposite to 30 degrees, we can find the length of the leg that is still unknown. According to our relationship, that is x times square root of 3, where x is the side opposite to 30 degrees. In our example, we know that that is 4. So therefore, the value of this length, it is 4 square root of 3. How we did, we plug in the value of 4 in our relationship to obtain this result. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.